I have a question for you. Will technology ever replace a teacher? Or to say it another way, who or what is the best teacher in the world? Is it a human or a computer? This is certainly not a new question. For as long as we've had advances in technology, people have been asking if teachers would be replaced by video or computer programs or the internet or YouTube or robots. Well, now we can laugh at these old visions of our future, but over the last 20 years, we have seen science fiction start to become science fact. One of the biggest changes has been with artificial intelligence. Machine learning is fundamentally changing what computers are able to do. Just go back 20 years, when in 1997, for the first time ever, a computer, Deep Blue, beat a human grand chess master, Garry Kasparov. This made us start to wonder if computers could replace humans. 20 years later, in 2017, an exponentially greater feat was accomplished as Google's AlphaGo AI took on Lee Sedol, the greatest Go player in the world. Now, if you're not familiar with Go, it's a strategy board game for two players in which you try to surround more territory than your opponent. The reason this was more challenging than chess is because the number of possible positions on a Go board exceeds the number of atoms in the universe. Unlike chess, there is no way to simply program all the moves into the computer. Instead, Google's DeepMind team simply taught AlphaGo the rules of Go. And then, they let AlphaGo play itself millions of times. And it learned the game on its own. When playing Lee Sedol, AlphaGo made moves that no human had ever even seen before or even considered making. The AI used creativity and intuition to construct new knowledge. And AlphaGo won the game that nobody believed a computer could ever win. And again, we asked, can a computer replace a human? So what do we do faced with the phenomenal but real rise of artificial intelligence now and in the coming years? Do we give up? Do we ignore it? Do we fight against the technology? No, we don't. Remember Garry Kasparov. When he lost chess to Deep Blue, he was asked, is a computer now the greatest chess player in the world? His answer is our answer. He said, the greatest chess player in the world is not a human, but the greatest chess player in the world is also not a computer. He said, the greatest chess player in the world is a human using a computer. He went on to create a new competition called Cyborg Chess, where a human plays with a computer partner against another human and computer team, increasing the level of play to heights never before seen in chess. And Lee Sedol, who lost AlphaGo, said the same thing. The AI has expanded his understanding of the game and helped him to become the best player he can be. So, back to our original question. Who is the best teacher in the world? Well, it is not a human, and it's not a computer. The greatest teacher in the world is a human using technology to its full potential. To be the best educator you can be, and to make your students the best learners they can be, we need to embrace and use technology to reach our potential. Now, back when I was a kid, I loved a TV show about the bionic man. It has this great line, we can make him better, stronger, faster. We have the technology. Well, now more than ever, we have the technology. To be the best teacher in the world, you need to become a bionic educator. We have the technology. Now, let's use it to transform learning.